Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, I'm G&G and in this episode of Jobless Greatness we are starting our first full season in charge of Cambridge United. We've had our first summer transfer window to try and build a squad aiming towards promotion and we start off away to Tranmere Rovers to kick off our League 2 campaign. So we've had a decent summer I think and proof of that is that at the start of the, the pre-season the media prediction was a 12th place finish after our transfer business that we've done and the transfer window is still open. But uh, we are predicted now to finish 7th and we are 17-2 to two to win the title. We're predicted to be in the playoffs, battling in there and hopefully we can secure there. But we are not far off the promoted teams, uh, chasing uh, relegate teams I should say, chasing promotion back to League 1. So we're right in the mix. And we've had a decent window and it was really cat capitalising on a player who left and that was Mason Burstow. He uh, handed in a transfer request at the end of last season, wanting to move to a bigger club. Gone to Carlisle for 375000 which could rise up to 400,000 and uh, his wages off our wage bill as well. Good player, got lots of gold for us, but uh, we have replaced him, I think, and we use the space in the wage budget to really build a squad. Uh, we have a nice, decent squad, 32 in it, but a lot of youngsters and uh, good depth now, I think. Lots of players who can play a number of positions pretty well and we have replaced him and built a squad with the area uh, we freed up in our wage budget. And we look at transfers, we actually didn't spend a single uh, pound mostly free transfers and getting players in and we've signed four players in total uh, after the season ticked over and the first up is a new keeper in Will the Eskilainen son of the Bolton legend UC Eskilainen he comes in a pretty solid goalkeeper for us he will be our number one with Joe Wright who signed from Oxford City after his loan ended on a free transfer he'd be the backup so UC or yeah, I said UC Eskilainen Will the Eskilainen comes in new left back in Zayed Lark Etchian like Eche, uh, Algerian left back, signed, came on a free from Wrexham, really good left back, I think he's a star player for us for sure, good mentals, good physical, pretty good technicals, he will be very important for us and hopefully he stays fit because we don't really have much depth at left back, we have players who can come in but not of that quality. Uh, we signed up a new striker in Riley Reynolds who came on a free from Portsmouth, uh, good finisher, good composure, good physicals, really good physicals. Decent mentals and technicals can be improved. Sadly though he picked up an injury in pre-season so he's going to miss two weeks. So he missed early on in the season but he could be an important player for us. Next up is a player who's come in on loan. That is Jordan Braithwaite, a Bavarian centre-back. He's very much a backup in on loan. Not paying much of his wages from Millwall. And he will be a nice player to come in and rotate. And a couple of players who signed uh, at the end of last season. So Joe Wright, as I said, in on a free from Oxford City. Probably paying a little bit too much in his wages there at 1.3 K per week only really signed him as someone <laughs> impressed yeah, unknown, but also because of his link with Oxford City and yeah he will be a decent backup though and good to have him in there for future games and also a new right back in Jack Collins a Jamaican uh, Jamaican born English right back who is going to be our starting right back much improvement I think from Holman better uh, mentals better physically jumping reach of 16 at 6-4 going to be a real threat at set pieces and good at defending our own, so he should be very important for us. With an Irish striker we signed on a free, Fionn Bork. Bit of a gamble, uh, good young player, maybe 21, can develop a bit more. Good finishing, not great composure compared to the finishing. Physically, good enough, I think, bit of pace about him. Uh, he'll be rotating in and out of the team, I think, throughout the season. Hopefully he can develop. And then an American player, Brian Williams, in on a free from Aston Villa. Uh, don't worry about his attributes go down at the moment. He's not training brilliant to start off, but he could be a really good player if his potential at 18. In on a free, not wage is not too bad at £750. If he can develop through his mentals and his uh, technicals, he already is pretty good physically. Uh, he could be a very important player, so we have to give him plenty of game time this season. Also, Billy Herps. Uh, Billy he Herps? I'm going to say he Heaps. Billy Heaps. <laughs> yeah. I should, as manager, I probably should know his name. Uh, Billy Heaps comes in uh, from Oxford United as a defence midfielder, really. That's the role he's going to play. We've changed that role slightly as I get to for the lineup for our first game. But yeah, good uh, physical player. Again, six foot and a jump reach of 12, so it could be useful at set pieces at both ends. Really good teamwork and vision. His first touch and passing could be really helpful in that role he'd be playing. So Billy Heaps there. Um, and that's really it. That's our signings done. And uh, one player as well, Sean Wallace, who played a lot last season. He's gone on loan out to Oxford City. We've loaned him out just to give him game time. He wouldn't have got enough game time to develop with us. So hopefully he can with Oxford City. So that is our first 
uh, summer transfer window, all the business we've done, and we will go look now at our lineup for our first game. Here it is. So yes, the lineup will start in goal as our number one. It'll be a back four of Collins, Thierry, Shearing, and Larece. Heaps is a. Uh, in the, the deep lion playmaker role, we've changed that from an anchor role to a deep lion playmaker because of his passing and vision. Oyedele will move into the midfield too, alongside Russell Denny, Anthony Evans on the right wing, Ethan Cummings on the left wing, and Danny Garvin up front. And you might be wondering where Glenn McConnell is. He picked an injury up early in pre-season, so he starts on the bench, only fit enough for about 45 minutes, I think. Yeah, so he starts on the bench along with Fionn Bork, Brian Williams, Serge Kubelvalli, Langford Holman, and Joe Wright. And yeah, hopefully we can get the season off up and running with a good win, an away win at Tranmere, and uh, hopefully this new team starts off the right way. So the season kicks off here, away to Tranmere. They are predicted to be down towards the relegation spots in this division, so yeah, we can get off to a really good start here. New players making their debut are uh, Collins, Jeskelainen and Lerche. If they can get off to a good start, settle in nicely and keep us in contention at that playoff spot, hopefully we can get... A better start to the season than we had at the end of last season. It'll be our first win in a while, actually, if we pick up a win here after that poor start. But uh, it's not going to be easy. Tranmere will want to start the season off well, too, in front of their own fans. The season is up and running. First highlight here is a throw-in for Collins. Down to Russell Denny. Quickly plays it on towards Anthony Evans. Garvin, oh, hits the post. Oh, that was a great chance created right away there for us. But we've hit the woodwork. Tranmere now have a throw-in up the other end. Brooking for them. Down to Lewis. Look to create something. Ball played round nicely there by Tranmere. It's into the box. Oh, Jeskelainen makes his first big save in a Cambridge United jersey. And it stays nil-nil as we go up the other end right away. It'll be a free kick for us. Now, Evans takes it in far post. Lerete, oh, straight at the keeper. Hits the post. In it goes. Own goal. <laughs> we'll take that. Bit of a goal mouth scramble there. Cameron Evans with the own goal. But we got away with uh, probably missing our chances there. Look threatening from that set piece. It was Evans whips it in here. It's Lerete, heads it down at the keeper, then he hits the post, then it hits off Evans and goes back into the net. Really unlucky young goal for Tranmere, but we are one up. Lerete here with this throw down to Oyedele, Lerete down to Eden Cummings in the box, gets a cross in towards Russell Denny, can't win the header. Can he win a second ball? Russell Denny, space for the shot, it's blocked and it'll be cleared by Tranmere. Well, no, Cummings wins it back and he fires it over. Good work from Eden Cummings, poor finish though. Tranmere coming on the attack, 25 minutes gone, still one up, but they are looking threatening here as we try and get men back to hold the position uh, we should have men plenty of back we are playing on a balanced mentality instead of the positive to try and just be a bit more defensively sound but Tranmere are doing well they take the shot and yes Kalainen well it was actually uh, Lacheche got a block on it and put it out for the corner so we keep uh, our lead intact for the moment but we've got to defend this corner kick now and it'll come towards the near post Hopkins there for them he wins two headers gets it back to the corner kick taker Lewis in a load of space and yes Kalainen Tips that over, good save from him, but the shot was straight at him, but he had to get hands to it, pushes it over, and we still are pinned in our box, so it's another corner for Tranmere, it'll be whipped in towards the near post again, that's headed just wide by them, so after 27 minutes, we stay 1-0 up. Half time here, and the first half of the season has gone really well for us, we're ahead at half time, we've been slightly the better team, I think, XG will show that, a bit more possession, and hopefully we can get a second goal in the second half to try and kill off this game. Uh, would be a real shame to let it slip now after getting into a really strong position. So, 1 0 up here, away to Tranmere in the second half. Can we hold on? Join here, Larkache takes it and down to Cummings. He gets torn, beats his man now. Can he get across into the box? Garvin is there. He goes back all the way to Shearing into Heaps. He gets torn to Oyedele. Oh, the shot from distance. Oyedele playing a bit more forward and looking more of a goal threat. Free kick here, Larkache to take it to Shearing. We made a couple of substitutions. Koulibaly and McConnell have come on. Hopefully they can help us see this game out as we have it in here now. Shearing at the back. Plays out to Larkache. Good debut for the left back so far. Here's Shearing into Oyedele. Can he get torn? No, the back to Shearing. Good possession here. Larkache into Oyedele. Can get torn now. Can he play a killer ball in towards McConnell? He can, but it goes back to Heaps. Here's Koulibaly into Cummings. Cummings, will he take on his man? No, he plays through McConnell. Chance for Glenn McConnell. Oh, shot blocked. And he was offside anyway, so it wouldn't have counted. Goal kick here, Jeskelainen to take it, oh it's poor from him, oh it's terrible from Jeskelainen, oh he got away with it though, now can we just get possession, we can, that was a big mistake from Will Jeskelainen. Larkache with the throw in down to Oyedele, back to Larkache, Bork is there off the bench, oh heads it over, Fionn Bork with a chance for a goal on his debut. Throw in for Tranmere here, Brooking into the box, don't give away a penalty, back to the goal kick taker, or throw in taker, Cotton for them, too much space, Cotton, Jeskelainen gets across, makes a really good save, that goal kick might have been terrible but his shot saving has been good. 
Now can we just hold on? We have six minutes to go. In comes the corner. Shearing gets up. Heads are clear to fall to a Tramier player on the edge of the box. Deflected out for the corner by Koulibaly. And we're just having to hold on a little here, which is not great. Uh, but yeah, win will be massive. In comes the corner. Head away by Lark Eche. Cleared to Cotton. End of highlight. Five minutes to go. We're one nil up. Lark Eche with a throw in. Down to Cummings. Back to Lark Eche. He gets turned. Goes back to Shearing. We try and retain possession. Here's Thierry. Plays it for Koulibaly. Can he play through Burke? Burke has to go backwards initially, but he'll take on his man. Fionn Burke with the cross in towards the far post. McConnell beaten in the air by their keeper. Tranmere have it. Two minutes to go. Can we hold on here? What's their keeper going to do? It's going to go long here. Everyone pushing up. Can we win it in the air? We can through Shearing. Down to McConnell. No. We win it back. We lose it again. <laughs> Just can't hold on to it. But Lark Etche steps up. Cummings. Cummings. Koulibaly. Now Fionn Burke is in a lot of space out on that side. He picks him out now. Fionn Burke has options. He heads for the corner. Can he get a cross in? Fionn Burke. Cummings is there. Eaton Cummings heads it wide. Oh, huge chance there for Eaton Cummings to kill this game off. Goal kick now for Tranmere. They go along with it. And can we win it in the air? Cummings does win it. Down to McConnell. McConnell retains the set. Oh, poor. He gave it away too easily. And we're lucky to get away with winning a throw in there. And now Lark, Lark Etche will step up to take it. We're coming into injury time now. Three minutes to play. Can we hold on for a big win? We've got 40 seconds to go. We're right in the opposition corner as well. So can we hold on possession? Lark Etche into the box. Bork. Oh, he can't get up. And now Tranmere can come on a counter-attack. Shouldn't really have that many men forward. We're uncautious at the moment. But they've gone forward. But we do. Lark Etche gets back. Yes, Kalina need him to be better with his feet this time. He is. He plays it out nicely. And it looks like we're going to hold on for an opening day win. A clean sheet as well for Jesko Leinen on his debut, which would be nice. Here's Bork though. Can he win this? Oh, brilliant touch from Bork from that long ball. Heads for the corner. This could kill the game off completely. Bork, cross comes in. McConnell is beaten in the air by the keeper. But there's the full-time whistle. It's a big three points on the first day of the season. Good debuts for Jesko Leinen, uh, Lagrece and a couple of players off the bench. Bork and uh, yeah, three points. And a win at last after a bad run at the end of last season. So an opening day win there for us sees us in 7th position where we are predicted to finish at the end of the season. But we're there already after one game. Hopefully that was a good sign that we can move up the table. Maybe challenge for those automatic promotion spots. Uh, three teams go up automatically of course. Then one team goes up through the playoffs. Can we get ourselves up to League 1 this season? Have we built a squad capable of that? Uh, in the next episode, we're going to come back for two games of varying challenges, really, because we're away to Bradford City in the first game. Bradford relegate down from League One. Hot favourites to go back this season uh, through automatic promotion. Can we win that game away from home or at least show positive signs that we can challenge these big teams in the division? And then we're home to Harrogate Town, who are tipped to be relegated from this division down to non-league. Can we take advantage of being at home in that game and get another three points on the board and keep ourselves towards the top of the table? If you did enjoy today's episode, please drop a like on the video. Always good to see more likes and that people are enjoying them. Don't forget to leave any feedback you have in the comments. And please rate my summer transfer window down there if you like. Let me know what you think of our business. Have we built a squad that can get promotion this season? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button too. It really helps the channel to grow and helps you to catch every video that's posted. Videos are posted Monday to Friday, 6pm Irish time. And subscribing will make sure you get the notification. There's also a playlist on the channel if you want to catch up on anything that's happened so far. And until the next episode, please take it easy.